Hey guys, so today's video is going to be first impressions slash wear test of four new Fenty products. So I picked up two of the concealers and I also picked up uh, two of the setting powders. I picked up Honey and I also picked up Nutmeg as an all over powder. Normally in Fenty, I wear shade 430, which is what I have right here. And um, I picked up the corresponding shade of concealer, which is 430. And I also picked up 390 to be my highlight shade. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, prime my eye area because I'm not gonna put eyeshadow on today. I usually just do like the little concealer on my eyes so it'll be all like one similar color. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my Fenty. And make sure you shake it up really well. So I'm just going to apply it on this. What I'm going to do first, I'm just going to use 430 on my eye. And so I noticed in some of the other videos people have been doing, um, they'll put like a lighter shade first and then they'll put like the shade that corresponds with their Fenty shade underneath. And I think I'm going to probably do that um, because, you know, people want their highlight to be popping occasionally, but then sometimes um, you want it to be more natural looking today. And 390 looks really good. Uh, it kind of reminds me of NARS. At least, well, no, I think this is a little warmer. And a lot more golden than my NARS Amande. I'm pretty sure it's way warmer than the NARS. And let's see. There you go. There's a little bit right there. And then put a little bit down the nose. A little bit right there, a little bit right there. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of 430 underneath. Just to give it something to blend and do. Okay. I think I probably put a little too much. Probably put way too much. <laughs> I definitely put way too much. Um. And I could not find my, my like new Sonya Kaushik, Kushik, whatever. However you say her name. I couldn't find my new ones. Because I really wanted to use those. Because I used this one yesterday and I forgot to wash it. Okay, so I really like the way this highlight is looking on my face so far. It's not like overpowering overpowering or anything, but it's really subtle. And I think if I would have probably just used uh, the 390 by itself, it would have been just a whole lot more popping on my face. But I did not want to go like super all out. So, yeah. So, like I said, I picked up two powders and I'm going to uh, go ahead and use honey to set all of the areas that I highlighted. And if you notice inside of the box, there's an extra shifter. Um, if you ever need to replace the one that is in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this little tab off. And now I'm gonna close it back up and then shake it to get some of the product uh, up top so we won't have a lot of like powder just flying everywhere. And then I kind of like to tap, I tap the bottom and I tap the top a little bit um, just to get, to have not, like not a lot. Oh, that is still a lot. <laughs> that is still a lot of powder at the top right there. See that right there? Still I'm just going to go ahead and apply honey 
uh, to my highlighted areas. So I do like the tone of this powder. I feel like uh, the banana shade would have been way too light for me. Um, but this one has just like a little more tinge of color and it just... Hmm. Oh. So it does have a smell. I don't, I'm trying to figure out what does it smell like because I can't figure it out in my head right now. But I can't figure it out. I saw people mention it kind of smells like vanilla, but it's like you can smell something like vanilla, but then it smells like it kind of reminds me of something else with vanilla. And I can't think about what it, I can't think of what it is right now. Okay, so while that is sitting right now, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the nutmeg on my eye my eyelids because I want that to set. I don't need that creasing while I'm in church. See, and one tap really gets a lot of product. Like, this is what this shade looks like. And this is a nice looking color. And I feel like this is probably a little darker than my Laura Mercier. Pretty sure it's a little bit dark. Yeah, yeah, it is darker than my Laura Mercier. So what I'll do when I come back from church is I'll compare um, these shades to other shades of uh, powders that I use similarly. So I am dressed and ready. Right, I'm about to head out. It is currently 9.55 and we will check in throughout the day. So I just blotted my nose um, and you can see it looks a whole lot better after being blotted. But I think if I would have actually set, I don't ever really set my nose, which is weird when you think that, hey, that's usually your oily spot. You should probably set that spot. But so far I don't have any issues. I just find that my face looks really good, <laughs> real good. No under eye creasing, just a whole fancy face over here. Are you standing in here? I got good lighting right now, so. Jason's judging me right now. He's like, are you coming out the car? <laughs> so it is about two, two o'clock right now um i left my phone downstairs but i do know it's about two because uh this patriots chargers patriots game is on and they're like up a lot <laughs> right now like by 30 something but yeah anyway i haven't had any issues or anything that would alarm me i have no under eye creasing um and my only areas that have been an issue are my nose and I did not really set that part and I said that in the video I filmed while I was sitting at the grocery store um I did not set that part at all really and I always tend to forget to set my my nose which I'm going to put a little bit on it right now and just see if that kind of prevents anything from happening the rest of the night as I wear this so I'm just going to take some from the cap and put it on my little powder brush Okay, yeah, that took care of that really easily. And just press that into my smile lines as well. But I always get smile lines. The only time I don't really get smile lines is when I put like the Urban Decay Primer Potion on them or some kind of like really good matte fil uh, primer to that area and it prevents the smile lines. But for right now, I'm definitely loving this. Definitely loving this concealer uh, setting powder combo. Basically this whole Fenty face combo is really working for me right now. I'm just looking finer. Finer today. Hey guys, it is 4.49 right now. And let's do a check in. So I did not get my nap like I thought I was. I just kinda been up. Um, there is no additional oiliness on my face right now. Everything is still looking real good. <laughs> so I'm definitely, I definitely love this combo so far. Um, yeah, like my, even my smile lines, they're not as like 
bad as it could be because there's times when my smile lines look real bad. I'm giving it two thumbs up so far and it's been on, like I said, since like 9 a.m. basically. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you swatches of both of these uh, concealers. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you the powders as well. I don't really think I did that during the video. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it right now. 5430. And I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that on my hand. So here is 430. Is 390. Side 430 so you can see it as well. So here is 430 concealer and here is 390 concealer. Okay. So you can see that the Fenty concealer is just like a tad bit lighter and a tad bit more golden um, than the actual Fenty foundations and chic. So there is honey and nutmeg. You can really see uh, the shade difference. So I want to see how this compares to my Laura Mercier because I was thinking about that earlier. I was like, is it similar or is it close? So here is Laura Mercier and then here is the Fenty Nutmeg. I guess Laura is a little bit deeper. Um, I would say, yeah, I guess I, I guess that is a little bit deeper. Let me put it against white and then I can actually see it a lot better. So yeah. So definitely Laura is right here and then the Fenty is right here um the Laura is a little bit deeper and a little bit richer the nutmeg is a little bit lighter so the translucent medium from Too Faced is just it has a lot more orange it, it's just way richer looking than the Fenty okay, so it has been about 11 hours now um it's currently it's currently 8.09 p.m it's 8 or 9 p.m. I said I was gonna come back around like 8 or 9 um and I started getting tired I was like you know what guys <laughs> we gonna go ahead and call this a day I'm not gonna make it to 12 plus hours um, but um, all in all I think this concealer uh the concealers are beautiful I love that there's so many options for so many people um because there's so many times that we go to the store we cannot find concealers that work for us we cannot find setting powders that work for us everybody's always in like the bananas or you know the whatever powders and stuff like she gave us options Fenty gave us options and for that I'm happy um, I'm happy that so many people are finding shades for them I'm happy I'm happy that people are finding foundations for them and shade concealers for them and now setting powders that are actually good for a variety of skin tones instead of this just you know either super light or like medium medium deep that's about as far as most setting powders go usually you know they don't really think about different colors like we come in people come in lots of shades especially people of color we come in tons of shades and you know I just like that there's so much variety okay so here are the concealers I generally use here is well here's the concealers I use now <laughs> you have 5390 you have uh, Born This Way Maple you have Cover FX GD2, and then you have Nars Amande. So, you get a little look uh, at the difference in the shades right there of stuff that I normally wear and that you normally would see me with. Least, least amount to most, you have Nars Amande, the Fenty Beauty Concealer, uh, you have the Cover FX, then you have Shot, <laughs> then you have Tarte Shape Tape, and then you have what gives you like double the amount of fluid um is the Too Faced so and all of these are basically in the same price range which is the weird part um and like I said I will list all of the prices but over there on the side of the screen if you enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed um, my comparison to some of these products as well um let me know if you picked up any Fenty concealers or the setting powders or the brushes or any or any of the other new stuff that came out with Fenty because Fenty when Fenty comes out with new stuff they come out like they don't play any game and if you haven't already make sure you have subscribed to my channel and go ahead and click that good old like button click it click it click it right now yeah thank you i appreciate it um and anyway guys that is basically all for now and i will talk to you later